Okay, YouTube, I just uh, entered the IP address of the Vera Plus. To find that, I just looked up the MAC address on the back of the device and then looked in my router device list and found what IP address was assigned there and open up a web browser. Chrome is usually the browser I use with my Vera. That seems to work the best, so I just punched in the IP address and did that in the URL line and hit enter and brought me up here. Welcome to your Vera dashboard. My screen capture was blocking the next here. So let's see, we'll do home and uh, next. I guess this is the first Vera controller that I've used with the new UI7. So there we go. So I think there was a setting here. Let's see, firmware, I'll go down there. So I guess that's probably the first thing I should do, do the upgrade. And I don't have any configurations. So I will get back to you when the firmware upgrade is done. Usually it takes about 15 minutes, like they say. Okay, we got the uh, firmware updated. I went down to the uh, setup wizard which I'll show you here on the my old controller. So you just go to Setup Wizard here and you log in. Shows my old controller here. You click on Add a New Controller and it shows you the IP address of the one you're adding. You select the type. <clears throat> so I picked Vera Plus and then you do Next. They didn't have this uh, set up in the when I got my Vera Lite so I guess up here it still says updating controller software and now go to dashboard so let's see what we get here okay there's my old Vera Lite and then that one complete setup and there we go Okay, here we go. Uh, you enter your personal information, then you come in here, give this a name. So I'm gonna call this Vera Plus. And next. And then this is where you would uh, configure your new devices. So you can do alarms, thermostats, energy monitors, dimmers, lights, all sorts of things. Let me try this. I'm about to leave. Yeah, I think I wanna leave because I'm what I don't want to do is set everything up again, so I'm going to do something like this. So you go to your Z-Wave settings, advanced, and then copy Z-Wave network from a primary controller. So we're doing that. It says download, waiting for data. So let me come back when that's finished. Okay, YouTube. So I've tried a few things, uh, found a post on the Vera forum here, and right here, I think this might be the, uh, the key that I was looking for. This guy was trying to go from a Vera Lite to a Vera Edge, and this one, he tried this uh, copy to, or copy settings from a master controller, and you get a timeout waiting for download. But here he says he starts a copy on the new unit and then start a controller shift on the old unit. And that was enough to get them to sync up. So let's see here, I've got, this is my Vera Lite here, you can see. This is the Vera Plus, so my new unit. So I'm gonna go copy network from a primary, and then I'm gonna go to the Vera Lite, and I'll do that. Let's see what happens. Add, oh, there we go. Now it's uh, adding devices, it looks like. Transferring scenes. Yeah, the video capture window doesn't quite grab the, uh, the status line but it looks like that is the key here of course you only have to do this step if you have an old Vera controller and you want to 
do a new Vera controller and move everything over. Now we had one scene transfer failed. Let's look. Uh, yeah, now it says configuring Z-Wave devices. I think part of the problem too is that the Vera light that I have uses the older Z-Wave chip. The Vera Plus uses a Z-Wave Plus chip. It's got more features. The Z-Wave Plus protocol is sort of a superset of the Z-Wave protocol. So let me uh, let this finish. It says configuring Z-Wave devices in your system. So I'll come back when this is ready and we'll see if everything uh, got transferred over here. Okay, YouTube, looks like the Vera Plus is working here. I managed to get as much of the configuration data moved from my Vera Lite to the Vera Plus. So it looks like actually quite a few things came over. So for instance, here's my little test light. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but it's a relay. So that uh, clicking sound was the relay turning on and off. Looks like my bathroom light and fan modules uh, came across. Some of the switches, my home energy monitors, although they came across with the generic names, not the actual uh, device names that I gave them. So yeah, it's, and it's funny, yeah, like here, the, the bathroom night light, bathroom fan, those all came over with names, but everything else came over without names. So this was a light I installed in the living room. And that's one thing that didn't come over. There's no uh, room information. It's just all blank here. So there's uh, none of the rooms came over. Yeah, no scenes none of the applications come over. You don't have any apps installed. I had apps installed on the Vera Lite, so I guess when they copy things over, you don't get like everything. <laughs> and I was reading in the Vera forum that, just to show you here, this is the Vera Lite that has everything on it. You can see I have uh, lots of things installed. There's an application right here, system monitor app. I've got different applications. Yeah, this device isn't there, and so that one doesn't get copied over, but here's this one got copied over. This wall switch didn't get copied over, but that's a battery powered device, and so supposedly battery powered devices and you have to go back and manually pair them with the new controller because battery powered devices can't be woken up for pairing. You have to actually physically do that. Here's my home energy monitors. Here they had names on the Vera Plus. They're just called home energy monitor. All, all of them and they all have the same name. This was the light dimmer in the living room. So it picked up that it's a dimmer, it just lost the name. So yeah, it's kind of interesting how some of the things, uh, here's a bunch of uh, applications that didn't get copied over. One of the things I read said that since the Vera Light uses the older Z-Wave chip, the Vera Plus uses the Z-Wave Plus chip. So there's a lot of the Z-Wave specific data that's different. Other than that, the uh, Vera Plus seems to be working just fine. All the devices, I can turn devices on and off with the Vera Plus. I can turn them on and off with the Vera Lite. Uh, and this is the problem I'm having on the Vera Lite. If we go here to firmware, it says there's a new version of firmware. I have 6088 free and I need 6984. 
this is something new that they've added in the latest couple of releases telling you why you can't install the firmware. Uh, yeah, I think this uh, Vera Plus is working acceptably well. Little bit of uh, assembly required, I think. If, of course, if you're doing a new installation, you have to set everything up anyway. So I guess I'm a little bit ahead of doing a brand new installation, but I still have a fair bit of uh, work to uh, do to get it all uh, configured. So luckily, I still have the Vera Light working, so I can basically switch over to the Vera Light and look at all my. Uh, settings and then just go tab by tab and get the room set up and the devices assigned to the right room and get the uh, get everything loaded in there so it'll probably take a couple of weeks to get everything moved over but in the meantime the Vera Lite still functions all the apps and everything run and I'll be able to get the Vera Plus going and then at that point I can shut the Vera Lite down and continue with the Vera Plus. So I guess a bit of progress. Looks like it works. It can't really tell any speed difference. I mean, you're still limited by the Z-Wave communication speed. Supposedly they now have a Windows app, which I might have to try. I've mainly used the web interface and then also Android interface. So yeah, just uh, thought I'd throw that out there. So yeah, if anyone has had any experience upgrading from a Vera Lite to a Vera Plus, post up any tips you've run into in the uh, comment section below, or if you've uh, run across a thread on the Git Vera forum. I found a lot of different threads with a lot of different things to try. Some of the threads were really old, some were a little bit newer, and it sounds uh, like maybe what I got is about all you can expect to get transferred over. Uh, battery powered things don't come over. Rooms and scenes and apps and things like that apparently don't get transferred. So I guess you have to do a little bit of setup, but other than that, the uh, Vera Plus seems to be working. And it's been running now for a couple of days, no issues. So I thought I'd uh, throw that out there if anyone's looking at doing an upgrade. It uh, looks like it's a much more powerful unit as far as the uh, specifications, more memory, faster processor, uh, the new Z-Wave Plus chip. One of the big things the Z-Wave Plus I think gives you is you, can, you don't have to bring the controller and the device you're pairing within really close range. With the Vera Lite, you had the batteries in it, so you could sh switch the Vera Lite over to battery mode, take it to your device, pair it, bring it back, and then plug it back into the power supply. With the Vera Plus, you're supposed to be able to do the pairing remotely and not have to get within three or four feet of the device you're pairing. So I guess I will find that out here when I uh, start pairing some of the devices that didn't get uh, copied over. But yeah, other than that, it looks like it's working fine. So I just wanted to put that out there. If you have any uh, experience upgrading a Vera Lite to a Vera Plus, go ahead and post up in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.